1895, Ogden Bolton Jr. registered one of the first patents for an electric bicycle in the U.S. A century later, they've become one of the most popular electric vehicles in the world. Using electricity to enhance performance, the e-bike is definitely in the current. These electric three-wheel trikes combine ergonomic design with cutting-edge mechanical engineering. A rechargeable battery powers the electric engine. The rider sits comfortably in the ergonomic seat, places his feet on the pedals, releases the parking brake, and takes off. The process begins with a water jet cutter. It uses ultra-high pressure water and sand to cut parts out of a thin aluminum sheet. The cutter significantly enhances productivity without sacrificing precision. It can make several parts out of a single sheet of aluminum. Parts that are ready for assembly go to the CNC brake press for folding. A stopper positions the piece on the V-die where a punch comes down to fold it. A worker inspects the folded part to make sure it's ready for assembly. A CNC bender curves aluminum extrusion tubes for the frame. This machine has multi-directional bending capabilities and can make multiple bends to a single extrusion tube. The trike frame assembly process starts on a jig. Once all the tubes are in place, a welder spot welds the aluminum brackets. He welds about 20 spots, binding the brackets to the tubes. The tubes bear most of the load while the brackets keep the frame aligned. The worker uses an electric TIG welding torch to complete the welding. He welds at a low temperature to avoid heat deformation in the metal. A mechanic installs thermoformed recyclable ABS plastic over the back frame tubes. He assembles the rear wheels, which have a seven degree negative camber angle for better grip and handling. The mechanic mounts brake levers, gear shifters, and handle grips onto the steering bar and tightens the six point socket nuts with an Allen wrench. He applies a structural adhesive on the dropout poles and in slots located on the front frame tubes. The adhesive provides the flexibility and strength needed to keep the dropout poles in position. Now the mechanic assembles the front and back frames together. The two frames connect under the seat through an integrated direction pivot and suspension system. The mechanic slips the front wheel into the dropout poles on the frame. He uses a calibrated torque wrench to tighten the wheel nut. He assembles the three cog front cassette to the bottom bracket, then bolts on the pedal crank arm using a threaded taper pin system. Next, he installs the derailleur for the nine gear cassette and bolts it on with a Loctite bolt. The compact drivetrain makes the trike 15% more energy efficient than regular bicycles or tricycles. A mechanic installs the disc brake system on the front wheel electric hub and verifies that it is functioning properly. The seats are made of woven synthetic fabric, wrapped around the frame and tightened with bungee elastics. He locks the removable battery pack in place with a key. A console indicates levels of electrical assistance and battery regeneration. This trike's wheelbase allows it to ride on bike paths. When on the road, its width takes up more space. The design of this electric trike combines stability and safety 
for a secure and pleasant ride.